Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtide Media, and uh, you know, I listen to a lot of my own music, as in music that I like on Spotify or my own playlists, and uh, I had an idea, what if I just branched out for a bit? What if I branched out for just a month and listened to only things that you told me to listen to? I've been thinking about this kind of style of video for a bit now, and a bit of a challenge for me personally, because I feel like, even though I listen to a lot of music, specifically EDM, uh, I feel like I don't branch out a ton. I'm fairly safe with my own artists, and while I try to listen to new and upcoming stuff, and stuff that's popular and all that, I just, I don't know, I feel like I don't branch out as much as I wish I did. And my listening habits are a little weird, because I pretty much just hit shuffle on my like songs on Spotify, there's about 2,000 of them, and I just hit shuffle and go for it, and whatever I get, I get. And if I'm like in the car or out for a walk or at the gym, I'll just skip through kind of stuff and find stuff I like. But I find more often than not, I'm just skipping. I just keep skipping through. But they're like my liked songs, songs that I really want to listen to. But I just, I don't know. I, I feel like I, I'm i am out of options for music right now. I've been listening to a ton and I want to I want a refresher of some sorts. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a Spotify playlist, a collaborative playlist, and just tell anyone that they can add add however many songs they want, whatever songs they want on this playlist, and for a month straight, I'm just gonna listen to this playlist. I'm sort of terrified. I think it'll be a pretty interesting idea also just to see what you as the listener, someone that watches me or watches Bowtide, will put into this playlist. I'm very fascinated to see what you guys listen to on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so without any further ado, um, let's just make this playlist and send it out live and uh, see how it goes. Okay, uh, well that was interesting. So it's been just a little bit now since I have posted the links and people have told me this is a bad idea, you are screwed, I don't know why you're doing this, and you know, that's that's sort of fair. Uh, because right now, uh, there, there's, a, there's a couple songs, you know, I, I probably should have added a, a cap to how many songs people can add. Uh, because there's currently, um, in terms of hours, there's not um, 100 hours of music, there's not uh, 1,000 hours of music, there's not a million hours of music. There's not a billion. There's not even a trillion. There is five quadrillion hours of music. <laughs> Okay, so just a caveat off the bat here, um, I, <laughs> I, I, I'm not committing to listening to the whole playlist. I, that's not a thing that's going to happen. I'm not going to listen to every single song. I'm pretty much just going to put this on shuffle and leave it as that. And as a little bit of a fun part to this kind of month here, I'm actually not going to skip songs. I'm telling myself I'm not going to skip songs. Whatever I get, I'm just going to hit it, and uh, that's that's whatever I get. That's that's my that's the songs I'm going to listen to right now. Whether I'm going to be at the gym, whether I'm out on the boat, whether I'm at home listening to music, I'm just, get, whatever I get is whatever I get. There is already a lot of variety in this playlist, and I also love that the first song is Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up. That just feels perfect uh, for the playlist, but there is a decent amount of variety I'm seeing, and actually, surprisingly, not a lot of songs that I actually know. There's a lot of artists and names I know in here, uh, but a lot of it is pretty new, so I'm pretty excited for what is going to be, um, I guess, what I'm going to be listening to for the next month. Uh, we'll see how excited I actually get uh, as we go through this. Yeah, maybe I am regretting this. So we'll see sort of what happens in the next little bit, and uh, I'll check back with you in a couple days, weeks. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do at this point, but I will uh, check back in soon. Okay, uh, so I just got back from the gym, uh, and <laughs> the playlist is... Uh, I, I mean, it's not the most optimal playlist to get you going. Uh, it, it, it it's... <laughs> Normally in the gym, I listen to like a lot of uh, like electro rap of sorts, like a uh, hip hop EDM fusion. But uh, I literally, I think I shuffled classical orchestral music from Tchaikovsky and Mozart, and uh, and then a lot of anime theme songs. I think is what I was. Uh, I think that's pretty much what I shuffled the entire time there. Okay, I definitely wouldn't say I regret doing this up to this point, but it definitely hasn't increased my joy of listening to music uh, like maybe I expected it to. I don't know, I think I just magically expected me to like find all these brand new artists and all these new songs that I'm actually gonna love and and it's um, just, I didn't, um, not quite. Uh, I think you guys did a little bit more trolling than actually adding songs you enjoyed. 
It's very fascinating to see how I listen to music because I find myself going for that skip button so often, so, so often am I going for that. And I'm like realizing how much I actually did that beforehand. And not, not necessarily a bad thing, but just recognizing my music listening habits and my patterns and routines and finding the exact perfect song for each moment that I want to be in or listen to. And uh, it's, yeah, this is this is definitely a challenge uh, going through and, and, not, and not skipping the shuffles, especially because because yeah, there's just just lots. There's just lots in it. I I wouldn't really. There's often a lot of people I know that kind of say I listen to every type of music. I listen to it all. And while I'd say I listen to all types of EDM, uh, I definitely don't listen to all types of just music in general. Uh, and I <laughs> don't love going from like just the EDM that I listen to to classical to like a rock song to a country. Um, I just I mean. That's not what I normally do. So yeah, we'll uh, see how the rest of this uh, month goes. I've still got quite a bit to go. And um, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so a little bit about myself. I, I really don't like country music at all. I, I really, really dislike country music. I hate the twang of it. I hate just how basic it is. I hate the lyrics. I, I don't like country music. I have been shuffled into this one damn country album, like, I, d I don't know how many times now. I feel like I keep getting it, and I don't know how it keeps happening. I, I looked at the thing, and it is a 36-song, almost two-hour album by uh, Morgan Wallen, and it's, it's not good. I, I don't like it. It's not a good album, and I keep getting it, and I don't want to keep getting the album. I, I, I want to listen to other stuff. There's lots, there are, there are thousands of songs in this playlist and I keep getting this damn Morgan Wallen and, and I, I, maybe I hate it. I hate, I'll say I hate it. I, I think it's a, it's a horrible album. There are currently 6,000 songs and there are only 36 on the album. And I, I just feel like I keep getting it and I, I'm tired. The last couple days have been great. It seems like the shuffle gods have looked upon me and I'm getting like Tristam, I'm getting Madion, I'm getting Coven, I'm getting all these artists that I really, really love. And uh, it's been fantastic. Okay, I would say I'm a fairly stoic person and my emotions don't really heighten and lower a ton off of just like a whim. And uh, I am recognizing that music plays a part in that. And it doesn't change me drastically, but I'm definitely noticing on like a drive home from work or drive into work or somewhere else, that when I get a song I really enjoy and I'm like belting it out in the car that I'm like recognizing, oh, this is like, this is making me like a lot happier by the time I get to a new place. And when I'm getting stuff that I'm not really, or don't really know or don't like, I'm uh, I'm just like, it's a slog to get there. And I feel like I just can't get to the place faster. And I just wanna get to wherever I'm going. I uh, just <laughs> stop listening to music. But yeah, it's been fascinating just to see how much my, uh, emotions have changed based off of my listening habits. Uh, something I never really recognized before I started to do this. And I'm actually noticing something pretty interesting about myself and that I often like to uh, be in control uh, and specifically because I listen to a lot of music, I like to be in control of music. Uh, whether I'm with friends or with family or just at my house chilling with uh, like my wife just hanging out, I, I like to be the one that picks the music and picks the songs. Uh, and because I'm not picking anything else other than this playlist, this damn playlist, uh, I'm letting other people pick more, which is probably very healthy uh, to let them pick the music that they want to listen to and music like that. But um, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. I wouldn't say it's really unhealthy for me in the past. I think it's, I'm intentionally picking playlists and songs for moods that I think people really enjoy. And I think I'm actually quite good at intentionally picking music that everyone enjoys who are listening to it. But I am definitely <laughs> recognizing how much control I have taken uh, in the past doing um, just anything in life and I will pick the music. And so now that I I can't pick the music, um, it's, uh, it's, it's different. 
Okay, this is it. The final day of listening to this playlist only. And uh, I, I think I'm ready for it to be done. I must say, my enjoyment of music this past month has has gone down. It actually, it's gone down. But yeah, it's not like the songs are overly bad. I just miss picking the music I want to listen to, the stuff I really want to <laughs> enjoy and really sit down and just soak in. The amount of times I have intentionally chosen to not play music this month has been very fascinating. I'll be playing video games or having dinner and just choose not to play music when I normally would. I would either maybe watch a YouTube video or put on a TV show or a movie or something like that. And it's, again, very fascinating to see how I, myself, my own habits are when it comes to listening to music. So there's definitely no way I listen to the entire playlist. It is 500 hours of music, 8,000 songs, uh, and it'll still be there on Spotify and in the link below, below the like button if you want to actually listen to this or see what this kind of is, a moment in history, I guess. I, you can add music to it if you want continuously. I will probably never go back to it. I think retrospectively, I probably should have asked for like your favorite songs on this playlist and not just to kind of put in whatever. I obviously had to make some rules about how many songs people could add because there was just uh, five quadrillion hours of music at one point, and we had to make sure that was a little bit more, uh, you know, uh, attainable, a little bit more listenable, a little bit more uh, sane. So I think if I were to do this again, I would add some different stipulations and just say maybe add 10 songs only and add your 10 favorite songs of all time or something like that. Uh, just to also get a better grasp of what you as a other listener, other another person other than me, really likes listening to. But you know, I, I'll, I'll never do this again. I won't because this, that, that's crazy. That's that's stupid almost to do it, what I just did for the month. And I, uh, I it was an experience. I learned a lot about myself uh, in the process, but I don't think I will be doing anything like this anytime soon again. I'm gonna put up a couple songs right now that I actually had never heard before that I thought were really, really good. And I'll say who also submitted it as well as kind of just a, uh, thanks for putting in some solid songs. These are ones that I, uh, I really enjoyed and hadn't heard before. And you know, I will not be putting in songs I didn't like that I hadn't heard before because uh, there was there was a lot. Yeah, I, uh, I, th I think that's it. I think that's all I wanna talk about. Uh, and I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to get back to listening to my own music, uh, the stuff that I actually want to, you know, listen to. This was fun, but I will never do it again. Goodbye.